Good, good morning, everybody. I woke up to this. One of the kids made cookies bright and early to take to work. And I'm just afraid they look better than the ones I make. <laughs> they really do look. I said, you got to open a bakery, kiddo. <laughs> These are some of my favorite. Well, I forgot to add, you know, sometimes people don't know, haven't seen this kind before, and they're actually called chocolate crinkle cookies. And so I think that they're just made with, um, you know, like cocoa to make them chocolate. And then there are other recipes that use melted chocolate, you know, like baker's chocolate. But, um, and then they're rolled in powdered sugar and they're baked and then they're cooled and they're come out crinkly looking. <laughs> They, they really do make a pretty presentation on a holiday cookie tray. Today's day, what, 12, I think, of Vlogmas? Wow. And it's uh, going to be a 50 degrees this year, I think. Not a, not a cold December right now. So I'm going to get into something and show you some more. Hi, everybody. I'm back. I was thinking and thinking, what was I going to do today for Vlogmas? And I think I'm just going to do a what's for dinner. So I have got in this small crock pot what's left of some frozen meatballs that were in the freezer. So, you know, I should have counted on two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. I think there's about 25 in here. I'm also going to make, so these are going to be Hawaiian meatballs. Let's put that out of the way first. These are the sauces that I had. I had this orange sauce. I have this teriyaki marinade and sauce. I have sweet and sour sauce. And I have teriyaki baste and glaze. So what I decided on for the Hawaiian ones was just to use up this whole bottle of orange sauce. So I'm going to do that if I can get it open. Yeehaw, I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it all in here and then I'm gonna add um, to this some green bell peppers and some pineapple, I think. Yeah, green bell peppers and pineapple. I'm gonna put rice out. They can put it on top of rice if they want. So this is just one of the things that I'm doing to, they're kind of mismatched dinners, to clear out my freezer. My goal is to have that done by spring because, well, I'll tell you, um, things in there at the very bottom that had gotten forgotten for a long time. And this is just a deep freeze in the garage, not the big freezer. Like the chicken I'm making today, that's going to be, um, it's, a, it was, I'll get, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you what I'm trying to say. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be okay, but the date on this, that it went into my freezer was, I saw it earlier. Oh, 9-27-22. Yeah, it doesn't look burnt, you know, like freezer burnt. I don't think, maybe it does, I don't know. But if I, um, if I cook it well, I mean, it should be sauce it up. They won't know the difference. I'm going to serve that barbecue chicken with barbecue sauce and with uh, macaroni and cheese on the side. And I'm gonna make some sweet potatoes. The macaroni and cheese I'm actually gonna make today, I think. I'm gonna see about it, I think I am. So I'm in my pajama jeggings bottoms. Uh, what used to be an oversized Christmas shirt, but now fits me quite snugly. You know? <laughs> so I can throw this away, away too. It wasn't anywhere near being expired, but I can still throw it away. It's one less thing in my pantry. And then I'm going to use uh, some barbecue sauce. I don't have to go see what I have for the actual chicken. I'm going to just plug this in, and later on I'm going to add the uh, bell peppers because I don't want them to just get sloppy. These are already cooked. All they have to do is, you know, Warm over. I uh, Rice I have to do next. I'll do that in the Instant Pot. That'll be quick and easy. I can do that in my sleep now. Uh, 
So I'm going to scratch out the Hawaiian meatballs and I'm going to leave pineapple and peppers on my list so that, yeah, I was going to say that. I'm going to get some pineapple chunks, throw them in there too. And when I serve this, I'm going to put them on a plate with picks in them because that'll make them more attractive to the little darlings. I, little darlings being my adult kids. <laughs> so uh, what's for dinner at your house? Give me a give me a thumbs up if you like anything I mentioned and tell me what you're making today. Hi, I thought while I'm in between doing stuff, I'm actually my husband's gone to the store. I think that's where he's gone to. I sent my husband to the store, but we don't know really where he is, do we? <laughs> anyway, he'll come home. Uh, he's picking up some extra things for dinner. I'm going to do six of my favorite things, two, four, six, yes, yeah, six of my favorite things that I have really gotten into this year. So the, these are in no order, and some of them are silly, and some of them are my favorite favorite. So if you like to write, you know, with paper and pen, have you tried these S-Gels? These are amazing pens. They're just like ink pens, but the, the writing comes out fluid and dark and nice. It's just a nice brand. I've got the 0.7 here tip. I don't know if that means anything to anybody else. I just picked up one and this is what I got. But I do like these pens. They're my, my favorite to buy right now. So these two are like cosmetics as if, right? You all see me. I don't wear cosmetics a lot, but when I do, this is my favorite now mascara. I use black, and this is Pacifica Activist Volume, and it says Volume and Curl Mascara, and then it says it in French. But anyway, it's very heavy, like it's got some heft to it, you know, and then I like the color. I'm a sucker for purple, and then it's got the curl, you know. I got this from Ulta just on a whim, and turns out I loved it. You know, I've um, in the past used Mary Kay. But I, um, I found that this is a little, bit, uh, a little bit better. It's not as clumpy. I like a lot of Mary Kay stuff, but just I think in, in the mascara, I like this. Okay, and then this isn't necessarily just this year I've come across OPI for nails, but specifically the silver top ones are shine and they stay looking kind of glossy shiny for a long time. So, and when I wear nail polish, this is what I'm usually going to reach for. Not this color. I mean, in any seasonal color, OPI with the silver top. And they call it Infinite Shine 2. If you can see that, I doubt it. Okay, three more things. This uh, was someone on, actually, YouTube told me about this. Didn't tell me. Told her viewers and I was listening on her video and um, my family has always used um, oh gosh what is it one of the top three you know there's like Listerine and there's like top three and they're all too strong for me I've never cared much for them they're just medicinal and blah. this is a delight <laughs> it's called Thera Breath Dentist formulated whitening fresh breath oral rinse. And so this is just, you know, pretty on the bottle where they put plastic cover over it, but think that it's clear. Yeah, it's just a it's a clear, I don't want to throw it in here because I sip out of it and then I'll have to get rid of it. And I already used it this morning. <laughs> it's uh non-colored and it's non-burning, no alcohol. Um no peroxide, safe to use every day, non-burning, because like I said, the other, same with that. The other kind, I think that it does that, it burns. So it's got um, good ingredients from what I can tell. Um, the mint flavor is natural. and So try this if you haven't. I think if you are like me and you think others are a little harsh, other brands, you might really like this. Two more. This came from Ulta. Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Deep Pore Cleanser. Typically, 
any kind of a clay mask, I'm going to be clawing my face off later in the day because it just sucks the little bit of moisture that a 62-year-old woman has left in her skin. This is not so. It has some kind of a... Uh, let's see, let me tell you what it says. It says, our multi-purpose purifying gel cleanser washes away impurities for clearer, silky, soft skin. A loofah plant extract and AHA containing Australian finger lime extract gently exfoliates, and it's, it is very gentle. I try to make it more, ex, more exfoliating. <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Pink clay helps to purify the skin. Uh, this formula easily lifts away makeup and congestion with witch hazel naturally helping to target the appearance of pores and it uses macadamia nut oil, moisturizes the skin. I do like this. Okay, here's the deal. It's really expensive and you're supposed to just use it on your face. I've been using it on my feet too because <laughs> it really makes your feet nice and soft like a baby's butt. Last thing, this I didn't buy. One of my kids gave it to me. It's just hand soap in a pump. I don't know where he got it, but I love it. It does smell like um, honeysuckle, and it's real thin, but it um, not not you know gel like other hand soaps, so it rinses off more easily, and it leaves just the tiniest scent of a honeysuckle flower. Let me smell this. I oh, love this, and I'm not big into scents. I love this. It says traditional French milled, whatever that says, a la maison, <laughs> whatever that means, um, de, de Provencia, de Provencia, honeysuckle with olive and argon oils, SLS free, Liquid soap from France for your hand and body. I've not used it on my body. I just keep it in my bathroom next to my sink, you know, for hand soap. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, there's one more and I have to wait till my husband gets home to help me show it to you because it's more involved than just holding it up and going like this. And it is my top favorite of the whole year of 2023. My top favorite new, new to me, new item. And some of you may already have it. I'll give you a hint, it sucks. <laughs> Hubby is home and I just needed a little bit of produce, but since he was out, he went, he went to Walmart. He went in to Walmart and bought and, you know, it wasn't a pickup. Anyway, he got the usual dog food that we use. They get quarter cup in the morning of soft and free range on their dry all day and water. So, three bell peppers, and they're looking great. Somebody who's gonna eat it picked it out. Of uh, one English cucumber. How many tomatoes? Three, six, nine. Nine tomatoes, whoo. Some romaine lettuce for making sandwiches. Some green bell peppers. They're kind of skinny, but it's that time of year, I bet. Two purple red onions. And then, um, you know, he did that dental surgery thing, and so he's taking care of gut health right now with kimchi and booch. I used to drink this every day, at a, in a t but I don't anymore. Anyway, um, and three, actually four, four bell peppers. It, this one is so soft on the end that it's kind of mushy, so I'm going to cut it before I cook it, of course. Oh, and the last thing is eggs. None are broken. Go figure. <laughs> All right. That's Mahal. I don't know how much it was. It wasn't that much because it wasn't that many items, but some of them, like the peppers I wanted for dinner and lettuce for packing a lunch tomorrow and that kind of thing. Oh, and these. So there we go. There you go, the uh, total was $60.41. That dog food alone is $12 though. 
I decided to do sweet potatoes. They're in season, you know, I mean, on topic for December, November and kind of stuff. So I'm not going to do rice. I'll just do these. I'm cutting veggies to pack a lunch for one of the kids tomorrow. I haven't done that in a while, so I thought I would. So he loves cucumbers and he loves carrots. And I bought this little container for dressing. He likes, uh, what is it? Uh, Hidden Valley Ranch. That's what he likes. So I can squirt some in here. Maybe that'll be enough for him. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't mean for his whole lunch. I mean for the dipping. Oh, the meatballs are nice and done. Really, all you do is warm them through because they're pre-cooked. They're the uh, Great Value brand, I believe. At first, I thought, meh, I'll try them just because I'm desperate for something fast. But I like them uh, for things. And so here's uh, two bell peppers chopped in like quarters for each. For each third, they're quartered. How's that sound? Now, what I'd like to do is just soften these a little bit, these peppers. I'm also going to add some purple onion to this. And then I'm going to line them up on a pick, like I said, just to make them pretty and appetizing looking. See how that works. You can see how thick that uh, sauce was. I think it was Annie's brand, A-N-N-I-E-S. I like the looks of it. Now, oops. Now here are the purple onions, and I'm just going to stir that in together, and I'm not going to cook these. What I'm going to do is, I'm, it's still on low, so what I'm going to do is give it a good stir, cover it, and then when I feel like it's back up to temperature, because I've left it open since I started cutting these vegetables, uh, then I will turn it off, and these won't get floppy. They'll just get soft and hopefully retain color. Just a second ago when I started my video, I went to grab the spoon real fast and it had, because of the high sugar content, glued itself to the, to the spoon rest, kind of like that, only better, and uh, couldn't get it off. <laughs> all right i've got all of the chicken into this pan and it is crowded if you think that it is you you think correctly i in my experience these thighs do they're boneless skinless they will shrink down uh so there'll be room in the end and i'll, I'll give them enough time i'll take temperatures and whatnot so first of all i'm just going to put them in with a squirt of olive oil some onion powder whoops ground pepper Plain old iodized salt, some parsley, some paprika, and some garlic powder. After they have browned and become less in volume, I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to brown them a little bit more, put some more flavors on them, and then I'm going to hit them at the end with this that was in the refrigerator door for I don't know how long. I'd say since summer. <laughs> so... They like this kind, and um, it'll put a nice glaze on them, just like on the meatballs. So they're all seasoned, and I'm going to slip them in uncovered at 400 degrees, right next to the little cookie sheet that has the uh, sweet potatoes on them. So maybe they'll be done around the same time, I hope. See how that sweet potato right there has like a circle? like round I uh, cut that bad end off and then I put foil over the bad end so it wouldn't gush out all over the pan there you go now I'm gonna set them up together 400 degrees 301 430 ish maybe I don't know maybe four the chicken will probably come out before the sweet potatoes I decided to sit down here and do this because I'm gonna peel a bag of carrots so they don't sprout horns and they'll last longer but my favorite magazine came in the mail it's mary jane farm and it says you are made of stars which is true 12 days of, you are too not just me <laughs> 12 days of christmas gifts that ought to be interesting and rural museums we have rural museums here and i love it i've been in the world war ii uh, museum and i've been in the log cabin museum i can't think of any others offhand but they're fun to go through if they're local to you or not ode to mothers seven ways to pamper mom in december hmm. potato dishes that ought to be good festive ones winter hiking adventures what else eat better feel better live better ain't that the truth 
And then in the back, they've just sent me a thing saying, you might want to re-up, because I think that's about time now. There we go. That's it. Dinner's done. Barbecued chicken, meatballs, and peppers. And I didn't put them on picks. These just weren't. I just didn't feel it. <laughs> and sweet potato and Brussels sprouts. And that is all she wrote. If you guys liked what you saw and saw what you liked, I hope you consider subscribing. Make a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.